Hello YouTube, this is Elzer Day 11 and in this video I want to present to you the $400 iMac. Um, so, uh, Newegg is selling these Asus all-in-one uh, desktop PCs uh, refurbished for $429, bucks, which honestly is a steal for the specs. It's got, I mean, your basic uh, Core 3 processor, uh, dual core, but four cores, hyper-threaded. Um, six gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte hard drive. So, I mean, it's not really for a power user, but then again, uh, a lot of the basic Macs aren't anyways. So, for four hundred dollars, this this uh, system makes a great iMac. And I'm just gonna show you a few things. Um, I have the system definitions for uh, late 2012 Mac Mini. My uh, Intel HD Graphics 2500 shows a full gigabyte, uh, six gigs of RAM. And the processor, I turned off speed steps, so it's locked in at uh, 3.29 gigahertz. Um, it, it, it works flawlessly. I've been able to get uh, the Wi-Fi uh, working. Let's see if we can see. So there's some of my networks, and we got audio working. Um, and also, we have both outputs working for the. Uh, the monitors. Okay, what else? Um, the only thing I've noticed is that Google uh, Chrome uh, runs flawlessly in Safari. Uh, it runs fine, but it's a little buggy when watching videos and stuff like Netflix. But you could see uh, right here it runs perfectly fine in Chrome. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's good enough for most people. Um, I have uh, Adobe CS6 Master Collection on it, and I run all, all these programs with, really without any issues. I mean, you don't need uh, much too fancy uh, to be using things like Photoshop or Dreamweaver, aside from you're going to have slower render times. But basically, for $400, you get this very nice 23.5 inch, uh, maybe 23.6 inches all in one uh, PC. It's built very well. You can mount it on the wall. Uh, it's power efficient. I think it's like uh, 200 watts, which really compared to the average PC, or um, I'm, I'm sure that's probably even comparable to uh, a lot of um, iMacs, maybe even lower. And then also you get the basic wired keyboard and mouse, but um, a lot of people actually would opt to go with the uh, wireless keyboard and mouse while you're at it and reducing clutter with an all-in-one. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching this video. I hope... Uh, I may have inspired some of you guys to make this purchase and uh, make this Hackintosh because um, I think it's, I don't know, I can't think of anything uh, that would, I, I really prefer the Mac OS operating system just for the appearance and aesthetics and also because uh, for something like a family computer, uh, it tends for uh, younger kids to have a harder time trying to get malware and spyware on it, so it's a lot simpler to use in Windows and um, it's a conversation piece as well when people stop by and say, hey, how does that work, you know? Um, so I'll post links to uh, the product in the description, um, maybe some short details, information about Hackintoshes, and uh, some of the basic files that I use to get started, which um, obviously I use like Unibeast, and I already had an OSX computer that I made the Unibeast installer with, and then I used Multibeast when I uh, first booted it after install, and... I uh, have a few uh, kecks that you have to use as well because those are important. A kex on uh, OS X is basically the equivalent of a driver for Windows. So, um, yeah, I'll post those. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.